If you want to learn how to dance, either ballroom dance, Latin, or any kind of partner dancing, and you're not sure where to start, here are five simple basic elements to help you get started. Uh, rule of thumb on the dance floor, there is going to be a leader and a follower. The leader is typically the male and the follower is typically the female. This doesn't always have to be the case, um, but this is you start on their left foot. Leader starts with L and so does left. And that's a good way to remember always starting on your left foot. As for the followers, you're the opposite. You're always going to start on your right foot. Um, and ladies are always right, so that's always a good way to remember that one too. All right, so going right into the basic elements. We have five basic elements. These elements can be used to break down multiple different styles of dance. First, we're gonna start with walking steps. If you are a leader, you can start on your left foot. If you're a follower, you can start on your right foot. For right now, I'm gonna start on my left foot. You're just taking regular walking steps forward. I'm gonna start with three. One, two, three. I'll bring my feet together. And that was three walking steps. Now I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna start on my right foot. I'm gonna go back, back, back. Each of these walking steps are just how you normally walk out, walking on the street. You're just passing your feet right in front of each other not bringing them together until you want to stop. The next element is going to be side steps. As a follower, I'm going to start on my right foot. I'm going to go to the side. Side, together, side, together. Now I can go to my left. Side, together, side, together. And these are side steps. Our next element is going to be triple steps. Triple step is one of the hardest steps to learn. They are three steps in a row, and we're just using those side steps that we just used, but we're gonna condense them down even smaller. Starting on my right foot, I'm gonna go side, together, side. Notice my feet land apart, and now I'm gonna start to the left with my left foot. This is my side, together, side. That is three steps. Now I wanna take those and I wanna condense it even more. I'm gonna carry my weight in the balls of my feet, and I'm just basically going nowhere. So it's gonna be side together, side, side together, side. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that is a triple step. Next is going to be a box step. So I'm gonna combine my walking steps and my side steps, and I'm going to create a box. Here I'm gonna start on my left foot. So if I go forward, side, together, back, side, together. Here you'll notice that my feet only come together in two spots. It's that bottom left corner where I started and the upper right corner. And then on the sides of the box, I'm always using my outside leg. So right now, if I'm on the left side of the box, I'm using my left leg to go forward. Forward, side, together. And now I'm on the right side of the box, I'm gonna use my right leg to go back. Back, side, together. If I was a follower and I wanted to start on my right foot, all I'm doing is starting in the upper right corner instead, starting back on my right foot. So I'm gonna go back, side, together, forward, side, together. Same exact box, same exact steps, just starting in a different spot. And last but not least, we have rock steps. So our last element is going to be rock steps. Here I'm gonna start on my right foot, and I'm gonna put my right foot behind me, rock my body weight onto that foot, and then forward again. So this is a back rock. Good, back rock. All right, now we can do a forward rock as well. I'm going to use my left foot. I'm gonna put it in front of me and I'm going to rock my body weight onto that foot and then off of it again. So this is a forward rock. Again, forward rock. And that is five basic elements that you can use to start helping you dance for partner dancing, ballroom dancing, Latin dancing, and all sorts of kinds of dancing. All right, so now that you have your five basic elements, the next thing you wanna know is timing. In dancing, we tend to talk in quicks and slows. So a quick is just gonna be one beat of music, where a slow is going to be two beats of music. Now you should know that every dance has its own rules. They're all gonna have their own set of timing. They're all gonna have different frames, different rhythms. So don't worry about that right now. Um, for starters, I'm gonna go over a box step and how we would use it in rumba. Rumba timing is going to be slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So using that box step that we just learned, I'm gonna start from the followers part on my right foot. So I'm gonna go back, side together, forward, side together. So if I wanna add timing to this, it's going to be slow, quick, quick, slow, 
quick, quick. If I counted that with numbers, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll notice that the way that you step and when you step is also important as to which foot you're using. So now you have your five basic elements and a basic understanding of how timing works. And when you put that all together, you can make a bunch of different dances. For example, the box I just used was for rumba. I used quicks and slows. But let's say I took out my quicks and slows and made every single beat the same amount. So I just did step, step, step. Now, that is dancing to a waltz beat, because this would be one, two, three. One, two, three. And that would be waltz instead of rumba. You can use the same exact step, but the timing changes what kind of dance you are. <laughs> All right, now we will demonstrate those box steps that we just showed you. Maya here is going to be doing the leader's part, and my name's Shayla. I will be doing the follower's piece. So I'm gonna start my right foot, and Maya is going to start on his left foot. So here, we are going to come into a basic frame. We are going to start with that waltz box step, where every single step has one beat. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And hold it there. <laughs> Good. Now we will switch that into a rumba box step. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I can do it with quicks and slows. Ready? Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Good. And that is how we do our two different kinds of box steps. We use the same exact box and the same exact footwork, but we styled them slightly different and we had different timing to make two different kinds of dances. Now you have your five basic elements and timing. So like and subscribe for more dance tips.